Okay, here we go. This is, um, this is actually going to be back the third time now trying this. I'm running into software issues. My recording software is not wanting to cooperate. But this time is a charm. We've, we've turned a bunch of settings down. I think maybe we can keep things from crashing this time. Here we go. And we are away and flying. Keep this roll going. Pay attention to that rudder. Keep it going in a fairly vertical direction. Don't want to be angling too far down just yet. There we go. Okay. See if I can hold it steady here. Mostly just looking, staring at that nav ball, trying to keep it centered on that 90 degree line. Occasionally glancing up at the altitude. I suppose I can start tilting forward a little bit. Don't want to go too far with it. Let's turn RCS on at this point. I'm feeling good about a chance to have an actual moon mission. If, if I can keep my recording software from crashing, that is. I'm thinking we have got a good chance at it. Start throttle back to simulate getting to higher altitude. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Thing does like to yaw around kind of crazy like, doesn't it? Just dancing on the rudder pedals. <laughs> okay. okay. How far do we go? Let's see, my apoapsis is ooh, 153. That's really ways up there. Okay, go ahead and turn. Oops, I'll turn that off. Let's detach. Use RCS to get some distance away from Grunt. Bye bye, Grunt. Okay, RCS off. MH RCS. Ah, barely made a dent in the RCS fuel. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll restate it. I, I gather, yes, there's lots of people that started watching this series uh, at, at fairly recently, you know, after I started. Maybe you didn't see the first one. My my actual mission goals, what I'm trying to accomplish here, I want to take this vehicle, I'm going to land it on the surface of the moon, I'm going to return to planet Kerbin, and I'm going to land uh, not just on the surface of Kerbin, I'm going to go back and land at Kerbal Space Center. This here, you can see the little patch of ground back there. I'm going to land at that same, the same piece of property I took off from. Uh, the limitations I gave myself. No parachutes. I'm pretending my Kerbals never invented parachutes. They do not have parachute technology. So the landings will have to be piloted and controlled. There's going to be no parachute recovery. I'm also, uh, because I'm using the uh, C7 aviation parts, uh, I'm, I'm giving myself my own limitation that the, 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 jet f the jet fuel, the jet engines and the jet fuel, neither of these are usable above 30 kilometers altitude. Because I'm pretending that those are air breathing engines. This is, uh, to, really, this is a limitation similar to a limitation that the game itself will eventually support. Uh, but I'm just kind of jump getting ahead of myself. Can, um, eventually eventually the game engine will differentiate between air breathing engines and rocket engines right now everything breaks like a rocket engine getting up there pretty close huh here let's do it this way look we stayed pretty steady on that 90 degree line huh that was good okay center it and throttle up Grunt there in the... Bye-bye, Grunt. I'm really looking forward to some time or other... See, the, 
the update which is coming in the next weeks, I don't know how many weeks, but what the developers are currently working on, if you read the forums, uh, they're adding persistence, means you'll be able to save the game in, in a current state and go back and, and pick it up. They're also adding uh, the ability to control multiple vehicles. So, if I'm understanding that correctly, and what I'm, how I'm hoping it will work, is uh, say I'll be able to launch this assembly just exactly the way I did, but then, but after it's launched, I'll take Oxcart, I'll put it into orbit, and then I'll be able to say log out of Oxcart once it's in a stable orbit, and Oxcart's going to take care of itself. Log back into Grunt and pilot Grunt through re-entry in a, in a landing somewhere, which, person, I I just think that's a beautiful idea. Really looking forward to it. Okay. The, let me see. The yawing problem this vehicle had before, since I redistributed these fuel tanks, the yaw problem is still there, but not as pronounced. Whenever I turn the SAS off, it still does tend to yaw to one side, but not a whole lot. Is it at 160? There to about the same range. Yep, okay. And there we are in orbit. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Yeah, I would, I would like to see, I imagine myself at this point, in the next version of the game, um, because Grunt, I, I would at this point log out of Oxcart, log in to Grunt, go fly through that re-entry, and come back to Oxcart and, and, and fix it orbit later. It'll be fun. On the other hand, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not understanding it at all, maybe it won't work like that, but I think that's how it's going to work. Well, we're also, I guess we'll need um, multiple crew members. We have, we'll need to have more than just the, um, Bill, Jeb, and Bob. All right, let's do some time compression. Oh, that's right. Considers the, still under acceleration. Turn the SAS off. Okay. get to this high point of the orbit right there and I'm going to attempt to make this orbit as circular as possible center it right about there it's already pretty close isn't it 172. Yep, okay. Periapsis 171.5, apoapsis 172.7. Yeah, that's definitely close enough to circular for our, for our purposes. Okay. More time compression. Let's go around this planet, huh? Wrong button. Here we go. Oh man, I'm I'm behind the ball here. Oh grief. I'm delayed, I'm late. Yeah, I was trying to stop the time compression and I wasn't looking at which button I was pushing. You know what? I'm actually going to wait. I am because I want to do this right. I'm going to hold off and we're not doing the transmuter injection burn at this point. I'm going to wait for the next orbit around. You know, 
it, there's no hurry. There's no hurry. We, these, these guys got plenty of sandwiches and sandwiches and Mountain Dew. I think that's what Kerbals, Kerbals like, sandwiches and Mountain Dew. That's my own theory anyways. Yeah, we'll try to... Okay, yeah, let's try this again. And try to keep better track of where that moon is. If not the others, Jebediah is certainly a big fan of Mountain Dew. You know he is. roll and get this thing all centered in anticipation so we have to do just a minimum of correction good right about there how we looking on that map oh yeah just any second here I'm gonna take uh, the advice a couple of viewers have have told me that I'm I'm not when I'm doing my transition to the moon, that I should be burning longer, and I should be actually uh, pushing my my orbit's arc out slightly past the the orbit's uh, the moon's orbit. So I'll try that and see if that works out better. It really is awesome. I, I started this hobby just just recording games and talking to my computer, and people watch them and they and they have comments. I love reading them. I love reading the comments. People have all kinds of suggestions and helpful advice. It's fun. Even if I don't take the actual suggestion, see, lots of times you suggest something uh, to solve a problem, and I already, uh, re I already solved the problem some other direction. Um, I, I still like seeing the comments. Comments are great. Okay. Here's the moon just barely rising. Locked in. Let's go. Banzai! Do some burning. Yep, see that orbit growing already? So what's the moon's altitude? Was it 11.4 million? So I need to get out there, say at least, like, say 12.5, 13 million, something like that. Let's go to 13.5. Uh, 13.8, I meant. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll believe you. Sure, sure, that's probably a better orbit, isn't it? We'll make that work. Yep. A little bit, slightly less than a quarter tank of fuel left in the over and under tanks. Fun stuff. It's going to happen this time, guys. It's going to happen. I'm going, I'm going to try to keep in mind that... See, one part of this whole progress, one part of this whole challenge that I haven't done too much of that I need more practice in is aiming my D orbits because the, the the goal isn't met until I actually land at Kerbal Space Center. And it's difficult to practice aiming my orbits whenever I crash the, the vehicle and explode into a fireball every single time. So, I'm thinking that if we don't have the, the VTOL system balanced correctly this time, we're going to actually abort the landing and, and try to make some effort at... Uh, coming back to Kerbin. We'll try to get this crew home so you know there won't be another another trio of sacrificial lambs. We'll actually get them home. Maybe that'll make them happy. You never know. Okay, time compression. Like watching that planet drift away, that looks cool. 